the magnificent Quaker Ridge Golf Club in Scarsdale played host to the 2009 edition of the Lincoln Met PGA Championship as Frank Benzel of Century Country Club completed a Met Area Career Slam, adding the Met PGA to his 2005 New York State Open and 2007 Met Open titles. His final round one under 69 was good enough for a one-shot victory over 36-hole leader Sean Farron of the Creek whose first round 66 included a hole in one. And two shots clear of two-time Met PGA champion Mark Milkey of the Mill River Club, who posted a four under 66, low round of the day. Brian Kroll, head professional at Glen Arbor Golf Club, talks with a special guest about the course and the strong field in this year's championship. Here with Michael Breed, head golf professional at Sunningdale Country Club, just down the road here in Scarsdale, also the star of The Fix on the Golf Channel. I mean, this man is a media legend. Busy. And a contestant in this year's Met PGA Championship here at Quaker Ridge. Why don't you give us uh, your thoughts on this great venue? Well, I, first of all, anytime you get a chance to, to get over here to Quaker Ridge, uh, it's such an honor and it's, it's such a highly regarded uh, club and golf course. Um, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for anybody to play here, but for the Met PGA Championship to be held here was really uh, special. You were very fortunate here in the Met section. You could look uh, within a mile of this place in any direction. You're going to hit top quality golf courses and clubs and uh, Quaker Ridge certainly at the top of that list and so was the field. I mean we have some incredible competitors in the Met section and uh, really an exciting final round today. Yeah I think the opportunity that we had to watch particularly Sean Farron and Mark Melke and of course Frankie Benzel and to see that competition see them compete uh, it was really quite an honor and, and it was fun to watch. You know, watching the round that, that Mark orchestrated, uh, 66 with a three putt at the last was oh, phenomenal. And then to see Frankie play the way he did coming down the stretch. And of course, Sean Farron, who played wonderful golf today. And, and, and while he didn't score his best today, you know, 66 uh, in, in one of his rounds, and I think he was 69. Uh, in his other round, I, I thought was just fantastic and certainly uh, represented the, the Met PGA the way we're accustomed to. That's right, and Sean uh, Farron with a 66, Greg Visconti, also a low club pro at this year's PGA Championship. And let's not forget Sean Farron playing in the U.S. Open, too. I mean, you know, we've had a couple of guys have had some really fine seasons, and, and Frank Benzel is, is, has had equally as fine a season, although he hasn't had a chance to play in any majors, he's had a couple of wins, including them at PGA Championship. That's right, and it's nice to uh, nice to have his name on a trophy that includes the names of Harry Cooper, Paul Runyon, Claude Harmon, Gene Sarazen. The Met PGA Championship, much more than your typical section championship. Well, I mean, you look at, at the PGA of America and where the PGA of America started here in, in 1916, and, and of course, with the Met PGA, really being the, the professionals, the, the instrument, the, the, the tools that started the PGA of America, you would expect to hear those names that you just threw out at us uh, as champions of, of this event. And they just seem to keep coming. I mean, we've got some great talent here in this section. You played in this thing, I mean. I, and I had a chance to play with a guy, Joe Christensen, who's an assistant here for Rick for sure, and, and uh, what a great kid he is and what a, what a wonderful talent he is. We've, we've had the chance to see a lot of really talented professionals come through this, and of course, Frankie Benzel is, is uh, no exception to that. Benzel's victory earned him the $15,000 first place check, made possible by the longtime sponsorship of Lincoln. The Mets section has many great clubs like Quaker Ridge and some of the best players in the country, but we also have some of the best purses to play for. Talk about why that is yeah, so. Uh, absolutely right. Um, if uh, I've heard Charlie say this before, if you've been on the Met PGA website before, you know what the Lincoln logo looks like <laughs> because uh, it, it appears everywhere. And we're so fortunate uh, to have the relationship with Lincoln that we have uh, and that this the purse for this championship is $100,000 and, and that is uh, directly due to, to the relationship with them. And it's not just this championship, it's it's almost every event that this section runs has a, a touch from, from uh, the Lincoln brand, uh, whether it's a Pro-Am, uh, you know, a Pro Lady or a Whitey Void or Jack Mellon Pro-Am Championship, and obviously this championship as well. So we're, we're pretty fortunate. Great players, great courses, and great sponsors. Uh, all part of what makes the Met PGA Championship so great.